is Taylor Berger and I'm 19 years old. For a long time, I've had this call on my heart from God to serve. I've just been praying like, God, use me in the way you want me to be used. Like, I want to be where you are, and I want to be where you want me to be. And um, it all started with uh, when I first heard this song called Send Me. The main lyrics are, here I am, send me. And that, like, exploded my heart. That was like, this is what I want. Like, use me, send me. So I prayed for honestly, a couple months before I felt like this is where I'm supposed to be. I prayed that prayer like, God, here I am. Send me. Use me. Like, I want to be yours. I want to be where you want me to be. So I served in um, the K-5 through ministry, and I also was helping out this past year in the youth ministry. And so I was a little bit up in the air between which one. Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Right before the mission trip, the youth pastor, Jer, came up to me and offered me this internship to work with the sixth grade through 12th grade and it felt like an answer to this prayer that I've been praying for months it felt like this is where God wants me to be that prayer was answered through my time on the mission trip and my time to get to know these leaders uh, my name is Malika Wright I'm age 20 I grew up in a single mother household uh, with my only other adult figure being my grandmother and so I wasn't in a religious home. My grandmother was, but I was only around her for so long. And so this past year, she had passed in late May and her funeral was in June. And I've always felt there'd be a presence in my life that was beyond me, but I never tapped into that. And when she passed, I was broken. I was lost, I was confused, I was hurt. Uh, because it was just an emotion that overwhelmed me. And one night in June, I was going through it, having emotional breakdowns, just crying, tearing up, thinking about what I could have done, all, all that. And in that moment, he graced me with his presence. And I've never felt the warmth so, so much that blanket wouldn't work. A hug wouldn't work. It was just him and his spirit guiding me through that night. And the best verse I can come up with to say that is Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is close to those and brokenhearted and saves those in crushed spirit. And that's exactly how I felt that night. And so ever since that, again, I cannot ignore his presence. Dude, I have to know why he believed in me and chose me to save me and obviously he has a calling for me to do so and I just need to tap into that to understand what he has in store for me and my story. I, every day I just tap, try to take one step, even if it's 1%, to getting more holy and closer to him. My name is Anthony Kennel. I'm 18 years old. I got the privilege of being the intern for the past year, and I feel like that really helped me grow personally in my faith, and it helped me see who God was and what all he can do for you. But the past few months, I've just been having this calling on my heart that there was something more that he wanted me to do. I'm going into my freshman year of college, and I originally thought I was gonna be going to Miami University, and I had my heart set on it. I was so excited to go. I was going for business, and I just really couldn't wait to go, and then I went on the mission trip and just felt so many different callings from God and so many different things were happening in my life where I was growing closer to people, I was growing closer in my relationship with Christ, I was wanting to serve more and just give more of myself to um, Christ that I had ever given before. The calling just got stronger and stronger and I just felt that I wasn't going where God was calling me to be and I could feel that I was like pulling myself away. So I sat down, I prayed, I talked to people, I was like, this something has to change. So I decided to switch schools and now I'm going to Cleveland State University and I'm gonna be commuting there. The fire that was once lit on me with Christ had been relit and I was like so excited to try new things and to see where God's taking me. And I just cannot wait to see what this year is gonna bring of me staying at home because if I was gonna go away, I would have been disconnected from my church, my friends from the church, and just the family that I, that I have on Sunday mornings and throughout the week. I just really felt like I was making the right decision. 
I felt that there was, God was going to use me in a way that he had never used me before. I just couldn't let that calling go to waste. I'm Emily Shreo and I'm 18 years old. Uh, my junior year, I was invited and asked to be a part of the internship that they have. So I've gotten the opportunity to be the intern at Christ Church for two years, which allowed me to help coordinate and plan events for the middle school and the high school. But serving there was always one of my loves. I also had a love outside of that, and I'm a dancer, and I've danced my whole life as well. Before my senior year, I had to decide on which major I was interested in, and I chose dance. Dance was something I had loved, and I was super excited about it. And as the year went on, and as I continued to grow in my faith and grow here at Christ Church, um, I started to feel like this disconnect with what I was picking, with my career choice. And I had to keep constantly reminding myself that it's okay, you're gonna like it when you get there, you're just not used to the unknown, right? It's something that's changing and I'm just not used to it. So I kept trying to convince myself, but this whole time there was something in my heart telling me like, this isn't for you, this isn't for you. Um, and I kept talking to people, asking people, praying, crying, writing stuff down, trying to help myself and figure it out why it wasn't working for me, what wasn't working. And it wasn't until last week, actually, and I'm about to leave in a month, a month out, and I had this moment where I was just driving in the car and I just started crying. And it all just hit me, like the spirit filled me. And I knew that that wasn't what is for me. God isn't calling me to that specific place, and that's okay. He had something better for me and intended. And as soon as I made that switch, as soon as I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna go to college for dance, I'm gonna go for theology, I wanna become a pastor. As soon as I made that switch, this peace filled me. It was like air in my lungs and I could finally see clearly and I knew that there was something better for me. And as soon as I made that switch, I've never felt peace like that before in my life. I never felt so calm and sure in a decision I've made. And I know that going forward, he's gonna continue to show me where he needs me at his time. Hi, I am Christian Berger. I'm 17 years old and I have been going to the church ever since I was born. My family has been a part of the church my whole life. I've grown up my whole life just looking for a spot where I can fit or finding the right ministry for me. And I just never really found it. So it wasn't until this summer, actually, when I went on the men's Wild at Heart camping trip with a bunch of different guys from the church where I felt called to do something bigger and kind of step out of my comfort zone. Just a couple weeks later, I got to go on the mission trip. And that was an awesome opportunity for me to test out the youth ministry. And I absolutely fell in love and I felt super called, like that's my spot, that's where I belong. So being able to feel this calling from God is just such a blessing for me. And I'm very excited to get involved and do good work for him. Hi, my name is Grace Bohan and I'm 17 years old and growing up I never was introduced to religion or knew who God was but this past year my faith has grown rapidly and I felt a calling in the church after I had some medical issues and left a bad group of friends and I was invited to church by Emily Sherrill and uh, ever since then I felt such a big calling in my life to serve and I believe that all the things that have happened to me in my life when there wasn't God was so that when I had God I could guide other kids and other people through those hard struggles and teach them that they're not alone and they have other people around them in the situations they're going through. And I've been so blessed to serve with Christ Church and I've been so honored to be offered the internship next year. And I just had my first sermon on Sunday. <laughs> and God has just been working in my life in so many beautiful ways. All right, that's a wrap. Great, boys.